Hello, hello, yeah, to SME student teachers. Uh, today's session, we come back by uh, our physics, where we continue by doing some more activities, exercises related to the second unit, to the unit which is uh, application of thermodynamics. We are in this unit, we can do some activities or exercises related to the points or to the content we discussed last time. Uh, question number one is 0.5 mole of gas. Is 0.5 mole of gas at temperature of 300 Kelvin expands isothermally from initial volume of 2 liter up to 6 liters? A. What is the work done by the gas? B. Estimate the heat added to the gas. Number C. What is the final place of the gas? And we know that the molar gas constant equal to 8.31 joule per mole uh, per Kelvin. So, uh, normally uh, the first question is asking about, uh, we are asked to find what is the work done by the gas? Normally, when you see the work done in the isothermal process, as you know, in the isothermal process, it is a process where the temperature is constant. So it means that the work done in the isothermal process equals to nRT ln of V2 over V1. V2 means the final, uh, final volume, whereas V1 is equal to initial volume. So, according to calculation, we have all values, number of mole are given from question, even uh, this molar gas constant is known, whereas temperature also and the volumes are known. So, by calculation, we see the volume equals to 1.360 kilojoule or uh, 13,690 joules. So, number B. Number B, we are asked to find or to estimate the heat add to the gas. What is the heat add to the gas? Uh, within our system, uh, we can also estimate the heat added to the gas. So, as I told you, uh, in isothermal process, because isothermal process is a process occurs at constant temperature, here the temperature is always constant, because it means that the, the change in the temperature is always equals to zero in isothermal process. So, it means that heat added does not change. The reason why the internal energy also is always equal to zero. Then, the reason why we say that the heat added to the system, uh, this heat added to the system will also will be the same as uh, the heat or the work done by the system because there is no change in heat. So, Previously, in the number A, you have seen uh, the value of work done, where work is equal to this value. So it means that this work in this question, number B, it means that uh, the heat add to the system is always equal to work. So it means that it say that uh, this work will be equal to the heat. This heat, the value of heat is always equal to, to the heat added because there is no change in temperature. Lastly, we are asked to find what is the final pressure of the gas. So remember that we know the initial pressure according to gas law. Initial pressure times the initial volume equals to the final pressure times the final volume, which is equal to NRT. This is the, about hydrogen gas law. 
then we know u2 is known also nRT is known it is very easy to find this binoplation uh, this is what we is expect to try for this one the question number two we shall try to look next time by now we can note that it is very easy to understand this where you can find the work done and heat added in isothermal process and we continue to remember that in isothermal process uh, heat added is always cause the work done because heat does not change it is the process occurs where the temperature is almost constant so thank you so much let's meet next time thank you all of you